Hi everybody, I'm the strange mechanic who could be a panic, Derek. And I am an Indiana Jones fan, Kevin. Not your best work. I know, I know. I it's know. all right. We are in Hollywood today and we are going to the El Capitan. This is Disney's classic American movie house. Um, we are here to see Indiana Jones on the Dial of Destiny. Um, we did the VIP package, so that comes with a couple of really cool things. We're going to check out the studio store. We're going to tell you a little bit about what it's like to see a movie here. And this is just a quick little jog through a Disney experience that a lot of people forget about. So yeah. join us as we go Beyond, Beyond the, the Turnstile. Turnstile. So when you're seeing a movie at the El Capitan, it is recommended that you park at the Ovation Complex. Uh, they do validate parking for, I think, up to four, four hours. hours. Yeah. So um, check their website for specifics, but um, you can get uh, that validated. And then I believe it's three dollars for each 20 minute period after Something that. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you should just budget probably twenty dollars for parking. If you're not gonna, if you're gonna get it validated, if you're not, you can find a public parking lot for between fifteen and thirty-five, forty dollars. Yeah, I it's would. It's LA, guys. Come on. I would say the ovation parking is probably your best option around here, um, but if that's full, there's a lot of private and public lots around here for twenty-five, thirty dollars, like Kevin said. Um, this is obviously the huge Megaplex where they film the Oscars. This is where the Kodak Theater is, um, and there's a bunch of restaurants and stuff here, so. You can always um, stop for food and things before your movie gets you done. For OG Disney fans who might miss sprinkles, they do have a sprinkles ATM here where you can get some of their classic flavors. I know it's been sad news. What are what are you distracted by? Um, custom cotton candy. Oh, custom cotton but candy. Like, I, I want to know what candy witch tastes like. Yeah, I don't know. Are my, these like the designs? Memory, I'm gonna tell you, my memory about them takes. <laughs> like I was saying, there's sprinkles here, and since it's closed at downtown Disney, if you were a big sprinkles fanatic, this is a great way to get them. So. You can go grab them from an ATM. They had today they have banana, which I might come back and get later, depending on how I feel. We also might go to the Ghirardelli soda shop that's here. So I don't gotta pick which sweet I want. What'd you say? It smells like a county fair out here. Oh yeah, I think it's the Ben and Jerry's, the waffle cones. Yeah, probably. But look, it's the Oak Cap. There she is. All her glory. There's a super cool window here, the Dial of Destiny. Got all the characters we're going to be encountering. I haven't seen this yet. I've heard mixed feelings. We'll, we'll tell you after we get out of the movie. There are some fun Disney characters. There's a Disneyland star here. Things that you can take a look at. Donald Duck. So there are a variety of super fun different options and for souvenirs here. So there's a Indy cup with a hat on it. I love that. There's popcorn buckets. And then you can pick up your tickets here. 
um, at the main ticket booth if you would like. That option is available to you. We purchased ours online in advance and purchased one that came with uh, parking options. Okay, so once you are inside and you've had your tickets scanned, we have the Adventure Pack, which comes with some concessions. Um, but they have a variety of different options here, things you would traditionally see at any movie theater. Um, and then they also gave us a little, you can't really see it, but validation pass for parking. Um, that way we can take that back with us and we will not have to pay for our parking, which is really, really wonderful. Um, I do believe they validate either way though, um, but it's only for a limited number of hours, whereas ours comes with as many um, hours as we want. Okay, so there is also this Indiana Jones photo op where you can stand on the bridge. This is super cute. Loving this. Yes. So um, our package came with two popcorns and drinks. Uh, we also got hot dogs. They have, you know, everything you'd expect at a traditional theater. So you can add your butter. They have, you know, condiments, straws, assorted accoutrement. And then the really cool thing about exhibits uh, here at the El Cap is that you can also see costumes from the films that you're seeing. Sometimes they will show um, classic Disney films here. Like um, I've seen a Nightmare Before Christmas here before and they had models from the actual filming, which is really, really cool. Um, then you can see like original cells and things from different movies. So this is fun. There's this whole section here that's about sort of the history of the franchise and how it really defined the adventure film. Phoebe Waller-Bridge's costumes. Amazing. So cool. Mads Milkinson's. You know, if you listen to our podcast, we did a whole podcast about uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Indiana Jones Adventure Attraction. And I talked a lot about how one of the Nazis is like Captain Nazi, basically. <laughs> like his whole gig is just being the most Nazi of Nazi Nazis. So um, this guy is dressed exactly like that. It'll be interesting to see this. All right, so walking into the theater now, they have this amazing organist. I'll tell you guys a little bit about this after.
right, so we just got out of the movie. We'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah, we'll talk about it in a minute. But they gave us the poster. I didn't know that was that was included, so that's really Surprise fun. Surprise and delight. Surprise and delight. So when you exit the theater, you will exit into the uh, Disney Studio Store and Ghirardelli uh, Fountain Store. They have a wide variety of Disney merchandise, some things you can find in the park, as well as a bunch of Ghirardelli stuff. These ornaments are super cute. I'm from San Francisco, so I, I really love this one. Chocolates and sort of classic items. Ooh, a whole pin section. Oh, and they have exclusive pins for the L cap, which is super fun. Okay. Okay, so I have some favorites. This Gus Gus and Jacques um, popcorn one, amazing. Because they, if you remember in Cinderella, they uh, steal the corn, they stack it and things, super funny. Um, loving this vintage director, Mickey. Obviously, this L Cap one is sort of one of the better ones. There's Donald on Hollywood and Highland, which no one's ever been that happy on Hollywood and Highland. Let's be honest with ourselves. Super cute. They have some of the Pride stuff here, including, I don't think I ever saw this in the parks. So, dare I say they have exclusive Pride merch? Oh, they do. It's a studio store on it. Fascinating. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Kevin said deep cut. And in addition, they have all of the different chocolates you can pack, pick and mix, choose a box, and then fill with your favorite flavors, and then you weigh at the register. It's eleven ninety five per pound. Variety of different containers for that. Little golden books. have a bunch of the live action Little Mermaid stuff. They did mention at the start of our movie that they are going to continue to show live action Little Mermaid at a 9.30 a.m. show through the entire run of Indy. So if if Indiana Jones is too much for your kids, and I could see why it might be, uh, they will still have other things for you to enjoy with your family. So here were all the indie merches. This caught my eye. So they have this Helena Shaw Funko Pop, which is very fun. Um, I like, I just like how crazy she looks. She did look a little insane during that part of the movie. It's sort of like her first introduction as a character. And I was like, oh, she's giving, um, uh, what is, what's the name of the Muppet band, Kevin? Uh, like Dr. Mayhem and Electric Teeth. Yes. Uh, Dr. Teeth in the Electric oh, yeah, Mayhem. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She looked like a member of that. Oh, <laughs> Very, very much Janice energy. A little, a little bit Steven Tyler in there. Oh, it looks like they also have big pins here. So there are some larger uh, commemorative pins here that you can get as well. They have a variety of the games. I know this. We've been eyeballing the Hungry Hungry Hippos Jungle Cruise because, as some of you may know, Kevin used to be a Jungle Cruise skipper. We love the Jungle Cruise. But if you look at it, it really. It's just it's just brown malt. It's, it's just with brown yeah, malt. it's the same. It's like oh, now they're quote unquote coconuts, but it's the exact same game. There's there's no. I thought it would be like maybe designed a little bit more. There'd be like bamboo or adventure land sort of aesthetics. But... Oh, but look! Oh, I just noticed that it's a hippo, a rhino, an elephant, and a lion. Oh, I never have noticed that. I've How many times I've looked that. at this? Is that right? Well, that's what it looks like. Yeah. yeah and I'm how sure. much is that? It's $30. $40. $40. <coughs> this is definitely a Ooh. rhino, and that's definitely an elephant. So I assume, based on the hair here, that that is some sort of lion, tiger, bear, oh my. That price got me choked up, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see the whole store. They have an ice cream counter here where you can get items over here. They have malts, shakes, sundaes, things like that, um, including some exclusive sort of Mickey sundaes. I think there's some of the same sundaes you can get at the parks, but we were going to do this and talk about our sort of thoughts on the movie. It's a little bit of a long line, so I think we're going to 
Let's go get a Sprinkles cupcake. Yeah, eat? maybe we'll go do something across the street. Hi. Okay. Hi. So we are now back in our car. Um, ho- ho- a little Hollywood. Goes a long way. Goes a long way. It's so um, we were initially going to go and get a Sunday uh, at the fountain, but it was a pretty long line. It was pretty crowded in there. And just honestly, the vibes were pretty good coming out of the movie. So I didn't want to like ruin it yep. with uh, that experience. But we did stop, as sprinkles. previously mentioned, at the sprinkles. So I got the banana. The banana cupcake at sprinkles is like lit. It's so good. This is the sprinkle cupcake. Classics. Classic. So uh, j- just download a little bit on the movie and sort of what our experience was. So um, Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny. I thought it was really I good. It was a good movie. Yeah, I actually thought it was really, and I had heard kind of like mixed things, so I wasn't sure it was going. You can't listen to the internet. As people on the internet, I can tell you, you shouldn't listen to the internet. Yeah, as, and you are probably watching this on the internet or... I don't know how Would else. Not watch it on I don't know. It doesn't make sense for me to say that. But, um, you know, I thought it had a great plot. I thought it was really, really good. I think what I had been hearing, and this is, we'll go like a little spoily, but I don't want to go like super spoily for you guys, was that people had issues with the third act and some of what happens when this happens. And people are like, oh, you have to suspend your belief. It's like not realistic, it's very silly. And I'm like, it's also not realistic that Harrison Ford is doing anything that physical right now. Well, he did a bunch of that stuff, and I think he like hurt himself several did times. Did he hurt himself on the original Indiana Jones when he wasn't 75 years old? Sure, yeah, probably. But um, I, I thought it was a very entertaining movie. That third act is silly. It, 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 I mean, it's not. It's not dumb though. It's like you're like, oh, we went to this place. Okay. We're there now. Oof, that's weird. But not, I don't know. It's also not any sillier than, say, the scene with the Ark of the Covenant at the end of Raiders. It's not any sillier than, I would say... um, The opening of Crystal Skull? Well, or the ending of Crystal Skull where aliens show up. Like, there's... There are things... It's a George Lucas film. Like, Well, George Lucas wasn't involved with this one. But but the... uh, The idea. Yeah, they banished George Lucas after the Crystal Skull Monkeys, I'm convinced. <laughs> um, like, they they address, I think, the things that, like, Crystal Skull still is in canon, so they still talk about the fact that he has a son, and they talk about Karen Allen, um, which we are both enormous fans of Karen Allen, huge fans. Uh, a stan account. Yeah, so if you listen to our podcast, Lights, Camera, Attractions, most of that is us talking about... Um, how much we love Karen Allen. How much we love Karen Allen, and then also... Uh, how how attractive Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford is. <laughs> so, um, you know, all in all, we had a really nice experience. The El Cap is a great theater to see any of these sort of tentpole movies. I think if it's mm-hmm. like, there's a Disney film that you're really, really excited about, this is kind of like the most premium and luxe way to watch one of those movies. And the coolest part, mm. which I loved a lot, is they're one of the only theaters in the country that still have a theater organ. Yes. Um. So before the show which we inserted a clip of before, and we may repeat here. Um, they There's an, there's an actual Honest to God organist, and he, what did they say at the end, that he's the American Theater Organist Guild's Organist of the Year. Or like, he's, you know, he's, a, he's a great guy. Yeah. He, was doing, he was doing Be Our Guest and Under the Sea and Fan of the Opera for some reason. Um, and that's, I mean, that's great. And that's something you're not going to get I mean, you're certainly not going to get that at your neighborhood IMAX. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's it's a little bit more themed in the experience they do. They often will do pre-shows before these movies. They didn't have one for Indiana Jones, but they will have, like, we saw Cars 3 here. Yeah, there were people, like, jumping around and Yeah, acrobatic. they did acrobatics. They had people, like, on wheels and stuff. But it was, it was cool. Um, so sometimes they'll do that. And they didn't say that they are doing... Um, a special screening for Haunted Mansion where they're going to deck out decorate the entire theater. They also do something call, for um, Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like Nightmare Before Christmas 4D and they decorate the theater. They do smoke and wind and all sorts of it's stuff. Cool. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right. Well, we enjoyed it. Um, El Cap is a bop. You should definitely go check it out if you want to have sort of a celebratory experience. Um, 
here in Hollywood, you want to do something a little different, have a very unique Disney viewing experience. Um, so we hope you liked this video. This was a shorter one than some of our others, but um, if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe. We do parks videos, we do podcasts, we do um, unique sort of theme park experiences. Or... And, and tell us below in the comments. Mm -hmm. You're yelling. What your favorite Karen Allen moment is yes in in her filmography there are three right answers if you get them right we will like those comments or you can also tell us which is your favorite indiana jones movie um so write that down in the comments below and then <laughs> drop the camera. almost dropped it um and uh we'll see you on our next video bye bye, bye.